Hi, welcome to another walk through Comics 2000. This episode, we're going to look at a favorite piece of mine, at least a favorite piece in the uh, first tenth of it, let's say, uh, by Brian Diggs. It's a great, humorous, um, and suspenseful piece. It's a simple one, two, three, five, six piece, uh, or six page piece. It's got three tiers to a page, and it's got pretty simple actions and pretty simple but stylized drawings. So let's take a look. So on page one at the top, we see this man. He's either in his bathrobe or he's uh, got a bit of a, the look of a seer or a mystic about him with his bald head and his um, long beard. And he's looking out over the city and everything seems fine and content. It's one large gray area that he's content with. But suddenly in the second tier, panel three, the whole thing's out of whack. It's like an earthquake or something. And the man is sort of stunned and on the ground. And at the bottom of the tier, he looks again. And now that he's standing and he sees the entire city is, is in disarray. Angles, every, all the buildings are uh, cattywampus. Page two, he gets this determined look on his face and he starts to walk downstairs. Shadows are sort of everywhere, but now he is outside and he scratches his head. Everything's cattywampus. The people are sideways and diagonal. No one seems to notice. Cars are piled up upon one another. Everything's sort of out of whack. So at the bottom of page two, he starts to move outside of the city and into the country. And he crosses a bridge. And over the bridge, he notices the fish are all out of the river. They're flopping up on land. And on in the middle of page three, I don't know if this is important, but the shadows are all crisp are in different directions. And I don't know if Biggs is um, is calling our attention to that or not. It's definitely there, but but it's he doesn't draw a lot of attention to it. And in the bottom of page three, the man walks to this boat that it seems to be waiting for him. He takes off his shoes and gets in into the boat, into the rowboat. And in page four, he is weathering heavy storms. He's grasping onto those oars, but he's finally made it to a peaceful spot and he dives in. And look at that beautiful shadow as he dives in. Anyway, he dives deeper into the water. And now on the bottom tier, he reaches down and he catches this treasure chest and he pulls out a coin from 1999, grabs it, swims upward. And now we're on page five. He comes out of the water and winds up on this um, sort of island of paradise. He walks through the foliage and through the foliage, his eyes light up and he sees what he's been looking for. And it's this parking meter. And so he reaches into his robe, he grabs that coin, puts that coin into the parking meter. Ching! That's the only word in this comic. Does that count? And um, that's the bottom of page five. On page six, he wades back to his boat. In his boat, he sees the fish are back in the water. He crosses that bridge, so he's retracing his steps back into the city. In the city, things look okay. The lines are all straight. He walks upstairs. And he gets back up onto that ledge and he looks out and the city is back to normal. The city, all the lines are straight and everything seems fine. And at the end, he gets this content look on his face and everything's good. The end. Brian Biggs at this point in his career was known for a comic called Dear Julia, which was really stylized and did some great things with lettering and drawing and was a pretty cool story. Now he's a children's book illustrator and really focuses on, as he says in a uh, interview, mechanical things. He really likes cars and and um, parts of buildings and stuff. And you can even see in some of his earlier work a sort of similar fascination with cities and with buildings. And even in this image here, you see something sort of askew in the city. It's a similar theme, and I love researching this book, this Comics 2000, because a lot of times you do see those similar themes happening in people's work over years and years.